here are the main flaws in this argument. First of all, can an increase of 25% over a long enough period of 3 years be really qualified as the kind of success the author is talking about? 25% over 3 years. Count for inflation, that may not be a lot. So by what percentage did the health insurance industry go, grow overall over the same, same span? That would be a relevant data. And what happened to the author's company? What happened to instar by what percentage did instar grow over this period only when these numbers are strikingly different can whatever author is saying seem to have serious weightage second flaw and i think the most fundamental flaw of all is that there is no causal relationship that has been established between the two events here the coming up with a csr credo and the 25% growth. The author has failed to establish any causal relationship. The only bit of evidence author states is that the credo must have played. Must have is a very subjective term. Doesn't talk about any numbers, any data, any any anything concrete to suggest that this credo played a role in the in, in whatever 25% growth over a period of three years. And then author has not suggested that everything else remained the same. Author did not say that the status quo was maintained and Medmaster did not do anything else which was a significant contributor to this growth. Maybe Medmaster did a lot of other things and this credo was only one thing and in all probability maybe Medmaster did it out of no uh, revenue aspirations. Medmaster did this CSR credo just because it felt like doing it out of the social responsibility. So there is no mention of status quo. Author does not suggest whether everything else remained the same. Another slightly technical flaw is that the data that has been produced is about the revenue. While the conclusion talks about profitability. The revenues increased by 25% but that does not necessarily mean a significant increase in profitability as well. So this is a case of extrapolation deriving profits from revenue assuming that if revenues have gone up profits have also gone up because eventually author talks about adopting this uh, methodology for improving in starts profitability not not the revenues you know so that is another important flaw although a bit technical difficult to find lack of numerical analysis throughout this reasoning author has relied on his judgment the only number thrown is 25 percent which over a period of three years is not an overwhelming number so there are no numbers anywhere things remain quite subjective, opinionated, judgmental. In one word, very, very subjective. These strategic decisions regarding the future of a company have to be made on the basis of hardcore number crunching. The numbers have not been presented. No predictive analysis in, analysis in coming up with a conclusion that such a credo would lead to a higher profitability. Then one major flaw which is relatively quite easy to find also most of us must have found it is talking about shelving the ongoing CSR activities. What would be the repercussions of just shelving your CSR initiatives? What happens to the harm in brand, harm in goodwill that would be caused when you seize an ongoing CSR initiative? A very strong, hasty, undeliberated suggestion. So these were the main flaws in this reasoning. As I keep saying that if you are able to find around 5 flaws, you are good. A good structure to the essay would be have a strong introduction. Intro must always very clearly convey that you are not convinced with the reasoning here. Then have a new para for each flaw. If you have been able to identify 5 flaws, have 5 paragraphs in the middle talking about one pa one flaw each. However small, have a new para for each flaw. Wherever possible, talk about what could have been done to avoid these flaws and then write a clear conclusion suggesting that based on the analysis here, the 
reasoning is not convincing this structure overall an introduction one pa one para each for each uh, flaw and then a strong ca conclusion would give a good structure to your essay and the information would flow in a logical way try to put the most important flaw first so arrange the flaws in the order of importance that would also be another small thing you can take care of so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching